everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys can clearly tell from the title, I am going to be showing you guys what is on my new iPhone 6S. Um, I posted a picture of me like unboxing it slightly on Instagram and almost like all the comments were asking me to do a what's on my iPhone. So I decided that I would go ahead and do one for you. So this is just the 6S, not the Plus, because this is already like super big and I don't know like how I would hold the Plus. Um, I also got the rose gold color just because I thought it was super pretty and I'm kind of obsessed with rose gold. And then this is a 64 gigabytes just because my 4S only had 8 gigabytes and I like ran out of storage so quickly so I didn't want to get 16 so I opted for 64. Um, and yeah, the case that I use is from Spec. It's just like one of the grippy ones, which I like because I tend to drop my phone a lot. So this helps me like not drop it as often because the grips like actually stick to your fingers. Um, and yeah, it's just black and white, pretty simple. Eventually I would like to get a clear one so that you can actually see the rose gold color. But for now, I'm good with this just like getting adjusted to the new size. I wanted something that would help me like not drop it as often. So yeah, um, that is all I think that I need to debrief you on before we actually get into what is on my iPhone. So like I said in the intro, I just have the iPhone 6S in rose gold and it is 64 gigabytes. And then my homepage is just a picture of my best friend Hope and I. So the homepage here is just like has all of the um, normal Apple apps. So we have Find iPhone, Compass, Voice Memos, Health, Clock, Maps, Calculator, Notes, Calendar, Reminders, Extras, which has uh, podcasts, iBooks, Watch, Find Friends, iTunes Store, FaceTime, Stocks, Tips, Game Center, Wallet, Videos, and News. And then I have weather, settings, photos, which is obviously just all of my pictures. Ignore all of those selfies. <laughs> um, and then I have camera and music. And then on the next page here, I just have App Store and Shazam, which I actually just downloaded today. So I'm not like exactly sure how to use it yet. All I know is that you just like let it listen to a song and it'll tell you the title and like who it's by and stuff like that, which I listen to a lot of music. So this will be super helpful for me because I love getting new songs, but like it's hard when you don't know the title or the artist or anything like that. So this will definitely come in handy. Next is Dream Days and I just downloaded this today as well. Um, it's just like a countdown app. So right now it is counting down to Christmas, which is in 80 days. New York City, which is in 9 days, and my 17th birthday, which is in 64 days. Um, next I have Pinterest, and I actually rarely ever go on here, which I don't know why, because I love this kind of stuff. Um, but if you guys want to follow me, you guys totally can. My username is just emmacathen09, same as like everything else. Um, I don't really like do much on here, so it might be a waste of your time. But if you guys want to know what my Pinterest is, now you know. Next, I have Safari, Contacts, and Bible. And I just really like this because when I pull down this, it has the verse of the day. So I always read a verse every single day. Um, and it's also on here, but I just like to have it just in case if I don't have my actual Bible on handy. I have this with me everywhere I go. Next I have Square Ready, which as you guys probably know, this just adds the white border around your pictures. So I'll try and find a picture. Um, okay, let's do this one. This is just from when my friends and I went to laser tag. Um, but it just adds the white border, or it doesn't have to be white, you can do whatever color you want, um, but I just like to have that just in case. Um, and then I have Snapchat, which is, wait, let me pull it down for you guys, you guys can just screenshot this and add me. It is just um, Emma Catherine 9 so if you guys don't add me or follow me already, you guys should totally do that. Um, I haven't posted on there too much, but I'm starting to do a better job, so you guys should totally go add me. Um, and then next we have Instagram. This is my Instagram here. Again, it's just emmacathen09. This is my fall theme. Let me know what you guys think about it. This is actually all the pictures that I have right now. Um, but let me know what you guys think about it. If you like where it's going, if you don't, I'm still undecided about it. I kind of like it, but then again, I kind of don't. So just let me know what you guys think. Next I have Twitter, which I am on here all the time, but I actually never tweet anything. Actually, let me see. My last tweet was five days ago, so I need to get in a habit of tweeting more often. Um, but again, it's emmacathen09. That's what all of my usernames are, but yeah, it's just it's just Twitter. Next I have Visco Cam, or however you say it. 
um, I actually am editing my Instagram pictures on here now. So let me show you guys. I took some selfies because I was kind of liking how I was looking today before I filmed. And I'll just show you how I edit it. So you go here and I use the filter C1. Then I go to the little tool thing. I take the exposure down 2. And then I up the saturation 3. And then I turn the temperature down 1. And then I just do fade at 5. And that is how I edit my Instagram pictures. I do it the same with every single picture. So there's the before and there's the after. So yeah, it's pretty simple. I, I like how it looks, but yeah. Um, so that is how I edit my Instagram pictures in case you guys were wondering. Next I have my Spotify. I am addicted to this app. I am on it all the time. Um, just because I listen to music so much. So, my playlists are Soft Love Songs, which I think this is um, public. I don't really know if it's not, or if it is or not. Um, but you guys can follow me again, EmmaCathin09. The other playlist that quite a few of you guys follow me on is Faves. This has 402 followers. So, you guys can go follow those playlists if you guys want to. Next I have the YouTube Studio app and this just has like all the analytics so it has like views, estimated minutes watched, subscribers, total estimated earnings and it just has all my videos and your guys' cute little comments. Um, so I will just do this just occasionally. It's more for like if I'm not home when a video goes up I can look at it all on here. Next I have the Spinny Circle game and sometimes I get bored. This is actually the only game on my phone which is kind of stupid because I am really, really, really bad at it. Oh, yep, see? Um, but I just like to have a game just in case I get bored sometime. Um, and then I do have Facebook that is private. I don't have a public Facebook just because I feel like Facebook is kind of for, like, old people. So, yeah, I don't have a public Facebook. Um, and then I have Coming in Eyes, which is kind of like Safari. And then I have my phone, messages, and mail. And then my background, as you guys can tell, is just a Bible verse. It says, I loved you at your darkest, and it's from Romans 5.8. I just really like it. It's a good reminder for me. I'm on my phone a lot, so I always see it, and I am always reminded of that. Um, and yeah, that is everything on my iPhone. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to learn what I have on my iPhone and how I edit my Instagram pictures and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any other fall video requests. You guys can just leave them in the comment down below. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And subscribe if you're not already. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Uh, uh.